Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we'll be talking about data types. Okay, so when you're programming in Java, you have to tell the computer what kind of information you want it to deal with. Okay, the reason for this is because of memory management. Back in the day, memory was really expensive, so this sort of thing was a bit more important back then. Today, memory is pretty cheap, so we don't have to worry too much about that. All right, although you still don't want your application to run out of memory, right? Because then it'll stop working. But anyway, uh, these data types, you have to tell the computer what kind of information you want it to deal with. And now you do this uh, when you create things like variables or when you're specifying the return type of things like a method, okay? All right, so let's get started with the first data type here. Uh, first one's called a Boolean. And it could only have um, one of two values, either true or false, okay? So when you're creating, say, like a Boolean variable, okay, uh, you'd give it the value of either true or false. And, and true or false doesn't have to be, or it shouldn't be in uh, quotes or single quotes or double quotes, just the word true or the word false. All right, the next four here, um, they're all related to numbers. The smallest number that you can represent is called a byte, okay, or this byte type. And it ranges from negative 128 to positive uh, 128, okay? So if your number um, or your value falls within that range, then you can go ahead and use byte. Okay, the next one is called a short, okay? And the range for this one is a lot bigger. This one actually ranges from negative 32,000 to positive 32,000, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, so if you, need a, a, you need, if you need to store a larger number, then you would use a short type. All right, the next data type is called an int, and it can hold numbers that fall between the range of negative 2 billion and positive 2 billion, okay? And remember, you can store smaller numbers in there too, so you could store like number one or 100, as long as it's between that range, right? So int just sort of allocates a little bit more memory just in case you need it, okay? Uh, in the case that you do need more space than that, there is one more data type called a long. And so that, that is the biggest data type that you can use for whole numbers, okay? All right, uh, the next two um, are also sort of uh, number data types, except these uh, are for decimals, okay? So next one is called a float, okay? And this one, honestly, it's rarely used. It's for when you wanna store decimal numbers that range at four decimal places, okay? Anything beyond that, okay, you'd use a double, okay? So uh, double and floats, they could be numbers like 3.14 or 0 0.1 or 5.3 or anything like that, anything with a decimal on there, okay? So if your decimal number goes beyond the four decimal places, then you'd use a double. All right, then the next one is called a char, and it's short for character. And uh, you use it when you want to store a, just a single character. So like a letter, it could be capital A or lowercase a, um, or you know letter K or S or anything like that, or also special characters, okay? But just remember, you could only store one. And they must be surrounded by single quotes. Okay, so that's the char. The next data type is string. You'll notice that it starts with a capital letter and not a lowercase letter. This lets us know that it is an object type. All other types we talked about earlier were primitive types. Now the difference is that primitive types cannot scale in size, whereas objects can. For example, we know that the size for byte is negative 128 to 128. 
If you decide later that you instead want to store the number 300 as a byte, you can't because it doesn't scale in the size of memory. So you're limited to that size for that type. Now strings are pretty much chars linked together. So you can save the word hello, but then later you can save a longer text and it'll adjust the memory size for you. Don't forget that when you're dealing with strings, you have to use double quotes. All right, that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks.